just me, but I always wash my chicken. I let it soak in lime juice and vinegar each and every time. The chicken is not rotted. I just like to wash off the extra slime and stuff. All right, so I'm gonna season up the chicken with my spice, spicy girl. I'm also going to make sure I get it all over. You also wanna make sure you add salt because my seasoning is low in sodium. All right, so this is the cake I'll be making today. These are the ingredients. I have some melted butter. I have milk instead of water. I have eggs and I have a lemon. I wanna add that extra pop. I'm gonna add the zest and the juice to give it that pop. All right, so all you wanna do is put it into a greased baking pan. This is obviously the wrong pan, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> and just follow the directions on the back of your package. All right, so now I'm gonna make some lemonade, but it's gonna be a little special. We're gonna add some Curacao syrup. I got this from Walmart. And yeah, so it's gonna make it blue and delicious. You're also gonna need some lemons, some water, and a pitcher, or as far as I'm concerned, a bucket with sugar. <laughs> Guys, I misplaced my pitcher, so yeah, I'm using a bucket. Yes, look how it's turning your lemonade nice and blue. Yes, like I said, I got this from Walmart and it's pretty good. It actually adds a little slight orange flavor to the lemonade, so I really like that a lot. So I hope you guys give it a try and let me know what you think. All right, so we're finally on to the chicken. You're gonna need a whole medium onion right there. In this plate back here, I have some peppers, I got garlic, I got a habanero, I have thyme. I, as you can see, I took the seeds out. You ain't trying to burn your mouth, your kid's mouth. Please, y'all, take them seeds out. You're also going to need that flour back there that I got in that little cute pink measuring cup and some chicken stock for extra measure of flavor. Do not use water. All right, in a nice hot skillet, you want to start searing the chicken. Get a cute little caramelization going on. Not too dark. You don't have to do too much. Just get it nice and caramelized. All right, next you wanna add the vegetables and saute for about five minutes. Then you wanna add your flour down and saute that down for about two or three minutes. You really wanna cook out the raw flour taste out of your onions and your peppers and your sauce in general. And then next you're going to add your chicken stock and mix it up really, really well. Remember, all ingredient measurements will be in my description box. Look how good this sauce is looking, yes. So then you're gonna season it up with your spicy girl or however you prefer, but I'm pretty sure, you know, my spice is better. <laughs> you also wanna add some salt. Make sure you, you know, taste with salt and pepper at your time, you know what it is. We go through this every single time. Add all your chicken pieces back in to your pot. Make sure they're evenly spread out. You don't want to pile them on top of each other. You want them to cook evenly. And then all you're going to do is cover it up and let it simmer until tender and falling apart. All right, y'all, this is the cake, nice and beautiful and perfect. You wanna test it to make sure it's done and mine is good to go. Now we're gonna work on some rice. In my pot here, I already have some rice on the stove, raw rice, I washed it, have it in the pot going. I have some roasted garlic here, some scallions, and some special herb butter. A recipe for that is coming up, so you wanna add all of that to the pot. So you're going to add the butter, the roasted garlic, the scallions. All of this, of course, is optional. You could just add butter, salt, and pepper. But I'm also going to add salt and pepper to my rice. You want to mix it up, follow the directions on the back of your package, and just cook it until nice and tender and ready to go. Now we're going to make some mac and cheese. Yes, y'all, we not done. 
we're not done here, period. But um, I have Monterey cheese, I have Kobe Jack. I'm just gonna make a little bit of a stovetop mac and cheese, pretty much. Um, you need butter, of course, your elbows, some thyme. All right, so now we're off to our skillet. I still have some more roasted garlic. I'm gonna mix that up really, really well. Kinda sorta like mashing it up with the butter and get it nice and smoothed out. Then to this, you're going to add your flour. You already know the tea. You mix that out. You need to cook it out so it won't taste raw. And mix it really, really well. Two minutes. Then, of course, for me, I wanted to add extra flavor. So I'm putting a little broth before I add my milk. Especially since this is not baked macaroni and cheese. I want to pack as much flavor as I can in there. All right, so then you want to go ahead and add your milk down in here. Make sure you mix it up and get it nice and incorporated. You also want to season this however you want. However, I used my spice and some salt and some pepper. Then you want to start adding your cheese. Turn your heat off at this point. You don't need your heat on just to melt the cheese down in your bechamel. And you want to mix that up really, really well. I'm going to give you all some cheese action. <laughs> and yeah, remember guys, you can use whatever cheese you want to. At this point, I already have my noodles down in my skillet. I'm going to add my, ooh, look at that cheese sauce. Yes. You want to mix that in really well. At this point, all we're doing is popping it in the oven for about 15 minutes just to, you know, melt the cheese down and you're good to go. You're not doing much to it at all. So then you want to top it off with cheese, pop it in the oven, and 15 minutes later, it'll be good to go. All right, so this is another vegetable that I'll be using. Um, it's a vegetable medley that I found in the supermarket. Quick and easy, just going to heat it up in the microwave. I also made a quick and easy salad, so yeah. But guys, look at this spread. Everything just looks so good. We're actually having company today for dinner and this is why I made the spread of course so you see the mac and cheese the rice mm, my mouth is just watering the steamed vegetables that we made in a microwave that was real quick just follow the directions on the package and yeah and now I'm gonna make my husband's plates y'all look at this mac and cheese like I can't like I, I just I can't the fact that I made it so quickly and it looks and tastes so good. And yeah, and this is the chicken right here, plating that up. The chicken is so nice and caramelized. I really, really hope you guys give this recipe a try. It's a, like such a go-to chicken recipe and easy to make. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Yes, period.